What have we got here? Johannes Nikolai. Nikolai's unsynced letter. I'm sure this will be cheerful. <clears throat> 5th May 1916. From Johannes to Amanda Nikolai. Dearest, thank you for the package. I'm saving the chocolate for a special occasion and I'm keeping the photo close to my heart. It's been weeks now since I've been called for any combat action, but a new kind of fear is spreading inside the bunker. Last night I woke with a chill. A strange sound was emanating from deeper in the bunker. A kind of moan. A cry, perhaps a howl. I went to investigate and found myself standing at the very entryway to the Roman tunnels. The sound came from inside. I dared not shine a light inside for fear of what I might see. And then a scrambling thudding came racing towards me from the darkness. A shape loomed up out of the shadows. I reached for my sidearm, ready to fire. It was Toussaint. He'd been awakened as well, but unlike me, he dared to enter the tunnels. He saw something there. As we stood at that moor, listening, the howling, howling, howling grew distant, receded to where I dare not guess. Perhaps our minds are gone, or perhaps there is something down there. Toussaint will not tell me what he saw. Please wrap me again soon. Love to you, Yannis. Um yeah that is a uh, standard issue uh, log found in a <laughs> survival order okay well that's all I found nothing else oh the code let's check it out didn't I find the code oh well no matter we are now going there So, <clears throat> I'm going to exit through here, walk past mission storage, take a left into soldiers' quarters. Going to smoothly get through the barracks A and barracks B <laughs> and make my way to the communications room. There is good stuff to be picked up in barracks A and barracks B, but no doubt the creature will be there, making life difficult. So I'm going to focus on my objective first, communications. And with that, what am I carrying? I have the key. Obviously, I'm going to need that. This useless stick, which is about to die, which will free up an, uh, an inventory space. Nothing to defend myself with. I have a bandage in case I get hurt, and that's about it. <laughs> hmm. Should I take the wrench? Well, I don't know if I need it yet. The meat is kind of whatever. Way too many bottles. I have enough two that need a cloth. Okay, I'm gonna go in blind, dry, and raw and find out what happens to me. We'll save just for the good luck. <clears throat> the door please thank you close the door oh boy here we go wind wind did I walk past already yeah I I didn't do a sound check I'm sure the sound's fine that's the exit where am I going let me quickly check something yep we're good <clears throat> Okay, here's the soldiers' quarters, down this side. Temptation to run, very high. Do I need to make a noise and uh, attract and welcome attention? Not really, not presently, no. Okay, down, down we go. And this is where we need to be extra careful. Okay, there's the clerk's office. And this is the passageway with the barracks. Very, very dangerous indeed. Don't make too much noise. But yeah, the sooner I use the key, the sooner I get that inventory slot back. 
So I'm going to focus on that right now. And just like that. That wasn't so hard, was it? Close the door. Groovy. <clears throat> we uh, officially have this door opened. Any loot? There's never anything in these, huh? A room to hide? No, not even. Just a room with a petrol tank and a cloth. I'll take it. What's up here? Nothing of interest. Seems to be a note here. I'll read that at base where it's safe. Ooh, a padlock I can shoot. Need my gun for that though. I bet there's something juicy in there. There is a closet for me to hide in. So maybe when I come back with my gun with my one bullet, I can shoot that open and hide in the cupboard until Mr. goes away. Okay, I'll read these notes. What the hell? <clears throat> First is from Azan, note to Faber. To Soldat Faber, I was there when they pulled your friend Noya from the tunnels. He'd been screaming for hours before he was located, tied to the stretcher. He was still trying to scream, but all that came out was a horrible rasp. All of the engineers have seen things down there, myself included. We should talk, you and I, about what is to be done. Let me know when. Right. Wait, that's not it. Do, do, do. There was a something else, wasn't there? That wasn't it, was it? That was it? Did I pick up a photo, maybe? What did I pick up? I picked up two things, didn't I? Close up a zone. Oh, wait, did I read Tremblay's? Faber dies. <clears throat> Faber is gone. Insanity. Chaos. We were in the mess and it burst from the shadows right behind Boys Round. But Faber was right there, ready, practically threw himself in front of the thing. And he shot it, hit it, dead on. The thing retreated. We thought for sure it was dead. But then, not ten minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming being pulled into the wall, praying for salvation, and now I can hear it moving again, getting closer. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I don't regret not wasting any bullets on it. I'm hearing heartbeat, heart, my heart's beating, that means it's coming. I better get in here quickly. Okay, <clears throat> and I would play the waiting game again. You know, I flicked uh, a lot of these switches to uh, have the lights flow throughout this uh, compound, or this bunker rather, and I still have a full tank of gas in the generator. I'm looking forward to when I can just walk around freely in this place. How's my inventory looking? It's really filling up a bit too quickly for my liking. I may go back and take... Put, put away the band-aid, the fuel tank, and the cloth. Maybe make a Molotov, actually, and bring that with me in case there are rat issues. But I may need my gun, so I can pop open this cabinet. So I think I may do a run back now. <clears throat> Question is, is it safe for me to go home? Doesn't sound like he's around, but who knows where he's wandering. It sounds like he's still walking around actually if I listen carefully. So, I'm starting to... I think that's him leaving. Okay. I may be wrong. No, it still sounds like he's lurking. Shall I take a chance and just try to get back to base? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
He sounds a lot closer. <laughs> Hang on. Ooh, he sounds very, very, very close. I better get any... Oh, he can come through here, even. I should barricade that with something. Let's close this door again. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to replay all of that. Not that there was a lot, but still. The principle. Actually, don't hear him at all. Maybe he really, really left. It's time for me to get out of here. You know what? Bonus points if I can grab a fuel tank on the way out. <laughs> You know what? I don't need the bonus points. I just need to get out. <laughs> okay, looks like we'll make it back. You know what I realized? I didn't even listen to the code. <laughs> I just got stuff and ran like I usually do. <clears throat> Excuse you. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. I do want to just sort up my inventory a bit. and get my gun. Maybe a Molotov as well. I'm starting to think I should probably just save my bullets for these locks, sir. Eh? Where is he coming? And I'm so, so very close. Uh-oh. He's coming. And we are safe. Mission accomplished. <clears throat> sort of. Some of it, anyway. Okay. Uh, I can take one of these out. Put this away. Put this away. Oh, I've got nowhere to put it. I'll take my gun. Put that away. If I need to heal, I'll wait till I get back here. I'm gonna combine that with that. Now I got a Molotov, a grenade, a little fire stick, which is mostly useless. And my dumb flashlight. So, here's the million dollar question. How many bullets are in here? Excellent. <laughs> oh, brother. I got one bullet in the dream. There better be some good stuff in that cabinet. Or I may have to load and get my bullet back. This guy, he's way too persistent for my liking. Okay, wish me luck. I've got two objectives and a side objective. Primary objective, get the communications code. Secondary objective, Get whatever's in that locked uh, uh, locker. And third objective, maybe pick up some of the goodies on the bunker, uh, in the barracks. In fact, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Why the hell not? Since we're here. We can always hide under a bed if we need to. We're... There's the fuel tank. Yoink. Maybe I shouldn't be too greedy and just be happy with that for now. Well, that was unnecessarily loud. I think I may have drawn attention with that one. 
there's my room, I think. No, 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 that's not it. I think that was the security room, huh? Can't close this door behind me. I think I'll do that. And I think you, I hear him uh, crawling around, coming to get me now. <clears throat> okay. Let's get it. Oh, I need the generator on for that. I just realized. Apologies to anyone else who realized before me. <laughs> and height. Okay, we can put that gun away now. <laughs> I have a shotgun shell for future reference. Seriously, man, put it away. Let's wait for our monster friend to show up and go away. Taking surprisingly long considering I fired a gun. And dangerously close range to a filing cabinet. So I try sneak a peek and see if I can get my, my, my gear before he comes through. There's nothing really to see out here, is there? Well, here's a risk. Score. Loads. What did we pick up? Let me see my inventory. Oh, I've got more space. That was a pocket bag. Awesome. Okay. I guess that's worth the bullet. Also picked up a note. Um, is it noise? Journal 2. 14 May 1916. I have spoken to no one of what's written in those texts. I swear it, but now Leroux comes out of the tunnels claiming to have seen things described in them. My rational mind cannot accept this. Might be coincidence, nor can it accept the alternative. I have to tell the others what's written in these texts. Tell them. Warn them. 18 May 1916. They've punished Leroux for speaking about what he saw, and now Reynard has sent for me. I am sure to be punished as well. We're stuck between the Germans in front of us, High Command behind us, and some other horrible force that seems to lurk in shadows all around us. I fear we are now truly beyond God's reach. 20th of May, 1916. I've been locked in Delphi cells for the past two nights. Oh, interesting. Maybe this guy's in the prison. Reynolds' punishments for me speaking about the text. Nightmare after nightmare there. Dreams of darkness. Seductive darkness. Voices there welcoming me. Oh, dear. I return to my bunk and was met with the men, all of whom now have tales to tell. Nikolai, Farber, Halbeck, on and on. They're all hearing things, dreaming things. Nights are now spent in the grip of fear that crawls up my spine and digs its claws behind the eyes, piercing mind and soul. But after what happened to Leroux and me, none dare speak to the officers, not even to your bat. And worse, raids are beginning again. I'm to go tomorrow night, back from the raid, Back from the raid on the 23rd of May. Can't sleep. Shells falling. The soles of my boots are worn thin. My feet bloody and blistered. Lost too many out there. I feel trapped. 25 May 1916. Last night the entire barracks was awakened by the sounds from the tunnel. Nightly they grow louder. When I slept, I dreamt of other worlds. Of pain wrapped in ecstasy. This morning we are all as ghosts. Things cannot continue this way. I will enter the tunnels and see if I can find some way to end this for all our sakes. Okay. Sounds like there's going to be some good uh, lore items in the prison when I finally make my way there. Which I will not be doing until I finally get this recording. Which I'm going to have to go back to base and turn on the generator to do. And of course put my gun in storage since it's no longer any use to me. Well, here goes a nothing. I need to get back 
so I can turn on the generator. Not gonna lie, it sounds close. <laughs> oh well. Let's hope for the best. <clears throat> I have no means of defending myself. All I can do is try to remain under the radar for as much as possible. Whew. Very impressive. So now... I've got no choice but to use some of the fuel because it's going to cost me fuel to do what I'm going to do now. I have to make it all the way there, play the recording, and get all the way back and turn the generator off. And then refill it with whatever uh, fuel I happen to have lying around. And this will be a good indicator to me exactly how long that generator lasts with the fuel at its uh, capacity. Okay, it seems like the experiment is about to be underway soon. Let's close the door. Oh yes, I dropped something under... What is that? Is, is that showing me what's in the box? It looks like there's something under it, but that could just be mines. Put you away? Oh, I've got nowhere to put you. Um, what should I do? I'll figure something out, I guess. I should probably take a bandage, right? No, I'm not. Uh, that thing will insta kill me. If it kills me, it kills me. I'll better take my stopwatch. How about that? Put that gun away. Uh, Lord have mercy. Let's save before we turn the genie on. Do I have a fuel tank on me? I do. I'm going to drop that fuel tank here by the generator so I can refill it when I come back. I think I still have... How many do I have left here? I've got one spare. Okay, well now I have uh, two spare. Here goes nothing. All right, and save. And let's freaking go! At least now I get to enjoy this place fully lit. <laughs> it's so much nicer with the lights on, huh? So I've learned from previous experience, I should still uh, be as quiet as a mouse because he will still hear me. And while the light, you know, doesn't please him, it doesn't keep him away either. Okay. Let's hope I have enough time to pull this off. It's going to be dark up this tunnel here for whatever reason. I could have swore I pulled the switch, but still no light. Yeah, look, I pulled the switch and it's still dark. Although I can have a proper look in the barracks now, which is kind of nice. Oh, there's music playing. Or is it my imagination? I'm totally hearing music. Isn't that wild? Why is it still dark up here? 
Weird. What does it mean? So I remember reading a note about the power that they all have to be on for the connection to connect. So where is it not connecting? What's going on here? That needs to be turned on. Gotcha. And how does one get in there? If uh, I may find a way in there, that would be helpful. Oh, bummer. So I'm at a bit of a loss as to how I get into the room next door. Did I miss something? There's a hole in the wall that shows me a way through, but I don't know how to get there. Okay. Being up here is no help. And I got a feeling this run may be a wash. I'm going to go back and turn off the generator. That's that's one thing I'm going to do. If I can pull it off, that'll be great. If I can't, well, no, stop doing that. Stop doing all of this. Just go, just go. Okay. We're going to go back and we're going to figure this out. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't notice that before. There's a whole other area for me to explore. Interesting. Very interesting. I need to blow up this door. I may need to come back with a grenade. Oh, and I've got rats. Well, I've got just the thing for rats. Eat it. Not quite what I had in mind. Does it blow up the door? It does. And now I need to get the hell out of here. If I can make it back to base, that would be epic. It's deeply unlikely. Unless I get under one of these beds, maybe. <clears throat> How much time is on my uh, my generator? You know what? I'm going to forge ahead because I want to turn that generator off and save the, the fuel. Safe in the knowledge progress was made. Okay, this turned out to be a lot more involved than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to leave the generator off when I come back because I want to make sure that when I'm finally ready to uh, do what comes next, I do have all the power on. Down. Let's run. Do, 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 do. And lock. Can't get me. And now to find out how much fuel that took. Quite a lot, actually. Okay. It's full. Safe. Whew. Okay, what did we learn? Luckily, I actually went down with the equipment I needed. <laughs> That's quite a pleasant surprise for me. So we torched some rats, we blew up a door, we've got the monster running around. I'm going to pop my watch away and take out... What should I take out? 
I don't have anything to make another Molotov. I'll take my wrench just in case, but I don't think I could use anything else here. I'll take a meat just in case I, I, I encounter more rats, I guess. That's pretty much all I can use. Okay, save. And let's have a look at this map. I want to see where I was just now. So I went through the barracks B and there was a passageway there. And that passage leads to the pantry and mess hall, which in turn leads to the kitchen, which leads to the break room, which leads to the utility room. So my quest lies here. And that's going to be pretty brutal, I'm assuming. It looks like I'm going to need something to light some rats up, at least. <laughs> Let's have another look here. I've got nothing to light rats up with. Just got some meat and a dying stick. I hope it'll be enough. Okay. That's a big area, to be honest with you. I may have to do a couple of runs. I hopefully pick up another cloth to make another Molotov to burn more rats if I need to. <clears throat> Here it goes. Okay, so my main objective in going there is I have to flip all those switches so that the, the circuit will continue all the way to the communications room. And any goodies I pick up along the way are more than welcome. I'm hoping not to run into more rats, but I feel that's probably inevitably going to happen. Might as well have some light. Stumbling around in the dark is all well and good, but we do need some help. Just I hope he takes his time getting here. <laughs> He's already coming. He wastes no time coming to torment me. He's coming right here. He's coming right here. What? Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bye. Oh, well, I might as well run for it. Yep. Hey, was that a dog tag? Is there a dog tag coming up? Homie just spawned right in front of me. Come on! <laughs> Millhouse, 1914, days before the retreat. I was surrounded by wire and mud. A German right there, right in front of me. I knew I needed a sound that could distract him, so I grabbed an old wine bottle and tossed... Oh, I can use this to distract. The clatter it made. The German jumped at it and I had him. Maybe I should just take one as a distraction, huh? I didn't even think of that. Not the worst idea, actually. I've got way too many of the damn things. That's an empty one, right? Yeah. Okay, that's my plan. Wait. Okay, I'll save. Off we go. Do, do, do. <clears throat> As I slowly crawl towards my imminent demise. So this is the plan. I'm going to get between Bunker A and Bunker B. Throw the bottle in Bunker A. Run through Bunker B. And try and get all the goodies I can from the kitchen, the pantry, and switch la lights on. You get the idea. We'll, we'll go as we go. As long as I don't uh, stuff up with this uh, bottle throwing. 
tried to read the label and realized I wasn't that interested in knowing what it said. Okay. Deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. How are we going to do this? There's that passageway, there's this passageway. We'll throw it over there. Yeah, go get it. Go get it. Sounds important, right? Hey, look, I'm finding gear. I found a grenade. And a stick. Are you kidding me right now? Is he coming here? You know what? I've got next to no patience for this gentleman right now. Get wrecked. I hope it hurts him. Nope. Because he's right. See, that's what I mean with these grenades. You're throwing in the dark. You know what's going to happen. Go to the gas. What was the point of me throwing a bottle? I swear I saw something else here that was acquirable, but I don't see it now. Dude, like seriously, leave me alone. There, go there. That's your home. Go into the gas room. Yeah, whatever. As I was, um, where is the, is this the way? I see I'm a little lost. Here, another stick for my collection. That switch is down. What's this? A bottle. Okay, what can we make out here? Let's make sure we don't miss any switches. It's super dark. Another bottle, lame. Another bottle. What's this? No. Ooh. There's some goodies over there. And there. And my friend's here with me. What have I got? Deeply uninspiring. What does this do? For use when in need of aid, signals with this brightly burning and loudly hissing flame can be thrown. Maybe I should throw a flare so I can see what the hell's going on around here. Oh, I'm not even under the table. There we go. Is that a fuel tank? And what's that? Another bottle. You can almost reach that. I think I'm going to drop a stick. That may be uh, a useful risk. Hopefully dark around here, yeah? I wonder what that is up there. Is it safe to wonder? Another fuel tank. 
I'm sorry, I, I don't care for these sticks. I really don't. I'd rather take that. Ooh, I like this cupboard. Need some time alone in it. Okay, there's a clock, there's a letter. Might as well read it. Farber's last note. 12 July 1916, night, sleepless. Something keeps scratching at the walls. I've heard rats before, of course, but this is different. It's not the subtle arrhythmic scratch of a rodent. It's louder, steadier. Francois has gone four times now to find the source and each time returned with no answers, perturbed. The men like me who were here during the Roman tunnel incident, we share skittish looks. We dare not say anything for fear of reprimand, but we don't need to say it. We're all thinking the same thing. Later, something just howled. Not something outside the barracks, something in here with us like before. It's like before, but the tunnels are still sealed. They're still sealed, but it wasn't enough. All my brothers court-martialed and gone, and it still wasn't enough. 60 July. A demon from the tunnels is among us. It killed Reynard. It will kill all of us unless... For La Rue, for Toussaint, for Neuer, for Nikolai, Ozan and Renoir, I will kill it myself. Damn, everyone's gone. This is why I was not caught. This is my purpose. My revolver is loaded. You know, that makes one of us. My will is strong. My will is strong. I want to get this. What can I use it with? <gasps> you know what? Let's go. Yeah. Give me that cloth right the hell now. Combine with that. Yeah, and I got a Molotov. And I'll take that fuel tank. Pretty cool. We have a new weapon and a couple of fuel tanks. I should probably take those fuel tanks back to base, to be honest. They're just going to keep me from picking anything else up. I sort of lament losing the gas grenade, but sort of don't care either. It's useless. He's in here. Okay, I guess I'll have to wait for him to go away. Yes, yes. Are you satisfied? Nothing here but sticks and bottles. Just go away. Yeah, stay down. I don't know if it's safe to leave, but I'm going to try. Because I sure would like to get back. Yeah, bandage. What can I drop for the bandage? Drop the meat. Drop the meat, yeah. Nope. Now, how do I get the hell out of here? Oh, wait. What's in here? Bullets? What's this? A medikit? That's awfully useful. I... Is he coming back? I'm going to drop the stupid stick. Take the medikit. Yes. Can we make it back to base? That'll be swell if we can. That'll be real swell. I think we might. I think we just might. It would be really neat if I can get this stuff back there, make some space, and come back again. It's a supply run. These happen often, <laughs> as you probably noticed. I've seen there there uh, some people who've, who've uh, completed this game very very quickly, like really really quickly. I don't know for sure, but I feel like I saw a speed run in 16 minutes, <laughs> which is insane to me. And again, I'm not looking for uh, these things. It's because I've been uploading uh, these playthroughs on YouTube that my algorithm now thinks I want to watch Amnesia videos. <laughs> Which is funny, because I, I really don't. I prefer to go into these experiences blind. And the less I know, the better.
That's impressive what some people are doing out there. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know speedruns, not my uh, bag. <laughs> Certainly nowhere near my skill set. Oh, what? What? He's coming here? Well, I'm out here. What the hell? Run, 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 run. Can we get, can we get in here in time? That's horrific. Close, close. <gasps> Jeepers. What the living hell? That's horrific. He actually got me here. I'm gonna need that. Glad thing I, good thing I got it. I'm not sure how wounded I was, but better safe than sorry, I say. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Hmm. I guess I'll put one of these in here. Maybe both. In hindsight, I probably didn't have to uh, run, <laughs> but I did. Screw it, I'm saving. I regret nothing. How much stuff am I carrying? I should put more stuff away, huh? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these fuel tanks. I might keep the flare, just so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put this band-aid oh, oh yeah I'll put the bandage away I'll put the wrench away I'm not gonna keep the wrench on me unless I know I need it I'll probably keep the flare just to throw into that room so I can see what I'm looking at and I'm gonna go and put these fuel tanks down here by the generator <clears throat> my oh my Drop, drop, drop. And I'll pick it up from there next time.